It's time to say good morning to our next live guest of the show. This weekend, if you need plans, the Winston-Salem Symphony has their first performances of 2023. It's titled Innovators and Legends, and the symphony will have two special guests as their conductor and pianist. Well, let's say good morning to Cillian Kirov. He's this weekend's conductor and a candidate for the music director of the Winston-Salem Symphony. Cillian, thank you so much for being with us this morning. It's a pleasure to have you. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. Well, we have to ask because there's some people who may not have had a chance to come out to the Winston-Salem Symphony before and they may be new to classical music altogether. Can you sort of explain what they may be in store, what may be in store for them this weekend if they come out to the show? Absolutely. I always think that these are great opportunities to start the new year because we have some quite exciting program. The music is absolutely beautiful. It's great opportunity to have a family night out and come to our uh, concert hall and experience the beautiful music of Ziger, Beethoven and Rachmaninoff. Um, I always thought of music as an opportunity to get inspiration and to see the world from a better, higher perspective. And I think this concert is the perfect opportunity to do this together with your family and friends. I love that. Mm -hmm. And Stillian, tell us about the guest artist that people can enjoy. Pianist Terrence Wilson is performing, right? Yes, absolutely. This is my first time working with Terence. He's an absolutely brilliant artist. He has been everywhere. He has performed with some of the greatest orchestras in the world. Uh, he has a Grammy nomination. He's wow. somebody who is um, absolutely outstanding. So this is a great opportunity to hear him perform Beethoven's first piano concerto with the Winston-Salem Symphony. I certainly won't want to miss that. So we have to ask you back to you. You are up for this position as potentially being the next candidate for the director of this Winston-Salem mm -hmm. Symphony. Can you sort of explain how you got into the profession of conducting and what's your passion behind it as well? Of course, um, I was playing the piano when I was younger and the oboe as well. And as I was growing up, I really got inspired by uh, the orchestra and its sounds and beautiful sound colors. And so um, I was probably 16 uh, when I first had the chance to conduct uh, my high school chorus and orchestra. Aww. And I absolutely fell in love with it. And what I really love about being a conductor is um, really the opportunity to build something together with fellow musicians. And of course, the colors of the orchestra and the energy of live concerts, because we share this energy with the orchestra and the audience. And back to if someone has never been to the symphony, never experienced classical music in the profound way that you are explaining it, what would be your word of advice? You know, your influence of getting more people out there, getting the family together and enjoy it. I would say come in with an open mind, close your eyes, hang on to this first note that you hear and let it lead you through a beautiful musical journey of the evening. Oh, I like that. <laughs> Stillian, any parting thoughts? We have about a minute left. Um, anything else you'd like to highlight ahead of this weekend's performance? Well, I just want to say that I feel very lucky to be here in Winston-Salem. And I have to tell you that there is a great treasure in town, and this is the symphony. Uh, there are so many great art organizations as well, and I'm just thrilled that art is so vibrant in this area. So I feel very privileged and lucky to be here, and I look forward to meeting the audiences. Absolutely, and we are so glad you got to join us on our show this morning. Good luck this weekend. Mm -hmm. Enjoy it. We know it will be a great success. And once again, folks at home, the Winston-Salem Symphony will perform Innovators and Legends this Saturday and Sunday. You have both days yeah. to enjoy it, right? Just head to the Stevens Center of the University of North Carolina School of the Arts. To purchase tickets, just head to the website on your screen, wssymphony.org.